Welcome to my learning arts channel and there's a little bit of magic in every brush. Well here we are with another painting again. As you can see I've already put the horizon line in there so it's just above the halfway mark I would say. You can see the painting at the top corner that's the one we're going to do on you. Um, here we are, there's a collection of the colours you need. Obviously you need white, you need a yellow, black, orange, a red, and that's a yellow ochre that is. I've added that in, in case I need to be more muted with the, uh, with the yellow. And so we've got enough on there, plus we've got plenty more. And if we need to add something to it, we will. So let's carry on. I'm going to start it off with this brush, which is a flat uh, sabre. It's quite a nice brush, does a good job, and we're just going to go across. Now, the difference between this one and the other one, the other painting we did the time before, is that that one obviously was uh, was it like a lake. Well, it's it, like, a, like a, a very calm lake, and so that's why the, uh, the water went down instead of across. Up here it's a bit more of a different, it's a bit more of a mill pond, but of course it's the sky and it's going off into the distance. So, let's start. Now we do need an awful lot of this orange on there. I'm going to put quite a bit of this orange and see where we go. But we do need a fair bit of orange, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go across with this orange. It's not going to be exactly the same. As the other painting, I don't want it exactly the same. All I want to do is I want to get the paint on here. So there we are. And what I'll do is I'll make it darker further up. But I just want to get the orange on to start it off. You need a bit of water on it, obviously. It won't go on otherwise. But yes, and don't forget we can add into this as well. So it's not something that well, you can just forget about we add into it as we go along you've seen that in the other painting i'm going to try and make this a quicker painting because um i think the other one was a bit long it took an hour so you know that was a bit long that was so um let's see if we can get it down to a good amount so that people can follow along quite easily now don't forget now this is a YouTube um, presentation as well as mine. I don't make any money off this. This is just done purely for people to have a go at painting. I did tutor for many years. Sorry about that. See that moving it? I did tutor for many years, but I had to give it up because I wasn't well at the time. Um, as you can see on here, I'm also doing the sides as well. Now the reason for doing the sides is if you want to put it directly up onto the wall, as this being a canvas, you can do. And that is the best of it, because you can do that. Right, I'm going to go across a little bit with a bit of orange bear, and a little bit this side as well, just to come into the centre a bit. And that would be very nice then. And down the bottom down here as well. So. Where the horizon line is, I want to go across into the middle. There we go. Just above the horizon line, not below, just above. There we are. I'm coming a little bit with that. Same on the other side. Come across into the middle. There we are. Not too much, just enough. Also, don't forget, as I said, if you want the edges to be the same or similar, just add a little bit there. Here and there. Yeah, that's all right. So we've got some main colours in there now, which is great. Now what I will need to do now is I need to put the yellow in there now. So let's wash the brush out, as I always do. Get as much as you can colour off it. We're only using a couple of colours today, so this should be a quick painting. Next one we want to put on here now is the yellow. 
as you can see but they're yellow but i'm gonna add a little bit of white into it as well because it's a bit of a dark yellow that so i want to lighten it up slightly now this white is very liquid so you don't need to add too much water into it and let's go in here and find out what we can do with it there we go that's quite nice And of course, as we're going into here, we're blending it with the paint already on here. Now, it's easy enough to blend, providing that it's still wet. And luckily enough for us, it's still damp on here, so this will do wonders for this. So I'm going to go across and in here and in there. There we are. As you can see, that's a bit better. So across the side as well, keep it going if you can, that's it, now then, sweep it in, get a little bit more of the darker one as well, cover up the white, don't worry about not covering up the white there, that's okay, but that's only the canvas underneath that is, so we need to cover that up, we can go in with it, we can go in on top of this with a bit of white, which will look really quite good. And there we are, just coming a little bit with this now. I want to keep the middle of it very white. So that's why it looks this way. But I will be putting white on it. And so, as you can see, edges as well. This side too, we're uh, going across here. This is doing well. There we are. Let me put my little holder back up. There we go. And uh, we will continue. Right, so as I said, we need to put a little bit of white in with this as well. So I'm going to go into the white here. As you can see, I'm not going to wash the brush, it's pointless. It's a blending colour. So we've got the white. And we're going to go on here and we're going to go say, right, where would the white be there now? It'll be a bit coming up there. A bit here. A bit more white, maybe. That's it. Lovely. In there with it now i'm going to leave the middle because i want as i said i want to make sure we can see that there we are that's a bit better there we are just touching the brush sideways sometimes makes one big difference to it so we're not going to go too far over there with these colors and if it goes too far just blend it in so all you need to do is just blend it in a bit and it'll look just fine but you we need a bit of white because obviously that's a bit better. Not going to be too white, just a little bit on the white side. Uh -uh. Don't want to do too much of it. No, there we are. That's going to look a bit better. So, up above as well, obviously, we'll need a little bit of yellow in that. So, it won't be quite as bright as the white. It shouldn't be. There we are. It should be us to be able to pick up some little strokes here and there. There we are. That's it. Not too much. Just to bring it out slightly. That's it. As you can see, lovely. Beautifully done. So, there we go. Nice. I'm going to take a bit of water now. Wash my brush out again. If I can. Always have plenty of paper towel around you. You'll need it. So, yes, I've got more paper towel there, as you can see. So that can be scrapped, throw away, so we get the new paper towel out. Wash the brush again and put it in place. There we are. Now, for the actual um, top of beer, I'm just going to run this across a little bit because I want to blend it in a bit more beer. Because this will be further up. Right. We've got some red as well. So... I could put red at the top up there, that would look quite cool. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my red here. This is a little... Uh, there we are. Can you see that now? It's darker up above, you see. And you'd be surprised how quickly these acrylics dry. Because, you know, they dry in no time. If you're doing them in a damp room, in a cold room, no, it would probably take longer. But with me, I'm doing it in my front room, actually. So... There we got it. Now, obviously a little bit around the sides as well. Don't worry about too much because it's only just putting the colour in there, that's all. There we are. How does that look? I think that looks quite nice now. 
So you can see that we've got to blend it in a little bit more. There we are. I think that's quite nice. There we are. How's that? I think that's quite nice. Yep, and I've said quite nice too many times. <laughs> yeah, it's coming along. Right. So we need to mirror that now in the bottom. I'm not going to do the, the white in the middle there now until that dries quite a bit. So then we'll go from there then and add a little bit darker in there with a much smaller brush. So next thing we need to do now then is to get the, uh, the orange from the bottom all the way up. So here we go. Get the orange in there. There we go. Orange, orange, orange. As you can see, it's a lovely colour. Very, very nice. Get the colour in here. There we go. As I said, I'm going to add the other colours, so the darkers and the lights, as we go along. So, yeah, let's get this in place there now. I need to be doing the edge of it. Don't worry if you leave little spots on the edge, because you can always go over them later once it's dried with a little bit of colour. So let's get this involved here, let's get this finished as quickly as I can. There we go. Now we will be doing the same with this as we did with the top. So just to cut down on the length of time we take, we will come back to this once I have completed most of the bottom. Right, as you can see, we've done quite a bit more. I've got all the way up here to the edges. Now, I've put yellow at the top. Some of that darker yellow you see there. And that is because I want it to be darker down there and lighter up here. So, as we go across, you can see I've lightened it all the way till it is still very orangey and yellowy. But that's the reason that I've done it. So... As you can see, now that looks quite nice. There we are. Let's go across, make sure that it all blends. So we've got that. So the next thing we need to do now is we need to put some of the darker colour, darker red on the bottom. So the darker red is here, as you can see. There we are. So I think it's vermilion, it looks like. So I'm going to come in here at the bottom and put some of these dark edges still horizontally all the way across here there we go blend it in a little bit here and there there we go that's it it's going to be darker this side of it so it's going to be darker further down now as you go across and up you can see from this you can make little ripples in the water there we go which is what i tend to do and of course, not forget to look at the ripples in the side as well, so that it all fits in. There we are. And so as I work my way up now, I'm going to do ripples further up as well. Yeah, you can see that. It could be a little bit of um, wind on the water here. So you've got a little ripple here and there. And of course, the further away they go, And narrower together they go. Now, if I don't know if you can see this, but I'm not using an awful lot of water on this, just the paint itself. As we come across, like that, there we go. And they get narrower and narrower as they go further up. There we go. Because the further away it is, there we go. And so you can see from this now. smaller and smaller all the way up now water is flat don't forget so you know not when it's uh, having a storm going through it no but uh, it's definitely flat now i need to take a bit of this dark and put it up here as well in the background there so as you can see that's going to come across quite well there we go only a little bit needed just to give it that little bit of uh, There. Right, so we're going to go across here, a little bit there. Now, I'm going to have to wash the brush up again now, because I need to be able to put a little bit more 
of the orange in here, just a bit. There we are. That's it. I'm just rubbing it on, and so you can see from this now how nicely this is uh, becoming. So you can see the white bit by there. Now we need to put plain white in there, that's obvious. I'm just rubbing a bit of red here and there just to bring it out a little bit. There we are, just to make it look a little bit better. Not a lot to it. There we are. But as you go along, you see the colours come up to it. Right, so we need to put some of the colours up there down here. So as you can see from the painting up there, it's got some light areas. So, and of course, they wouldn't be dead white. They will be white reflecting off the sun there, coming a little bit here and there. But uh, really, what you're going to get is more of a yellowy colour with a bit of white in it. Can you see that? There we are. A bit more like that. There we are. And so when I run through it now, it's at the top of here, as you can see. There we are. I shall just want to put some little block colours up here, if I can. Hmm, maybe the brush is a bit big. So this is where you change the brush. You soon find out that you can't do everything with the same brush. And so I will just go get another brush. And there we are. I picked a small sable. It's not tiny, but it's give it a little bit of water and dry it off. And then go straight into the just the white. Nothing else, just white. And see how we can get with this. Yeah, we should be able to get a better line there. There we are, that's it. Delicate ones, so I'll try and keep them straight if you can. That's the other bit. That's it. As you come down, it will probably hit one or two of the other bits and pieces as well. Uh, the other little bit of ripples here and there. And so, as you can see, as we come down, there we go. Well, there's many different brushes you can use for this and also there's many different other tools you can use like if you want to you can use a palette knife and they come up quite well there we are I'm just going to go all the way across with this white like this that's it try to keep it straight if you can it's not easy you want a bit of yellow on it as well you can see down there you are white that's more like it same here on the outskirts of it out here, a bit of water. Out here it'll be more yellow than white. A bit of water and the yellow. And so when it's going across there, look at that. You'll see the yellow come out more. So only the white will be in front here of the actual tail. Where it's smaller up there, it would be larger down here. So we need to take a little bit of yellow. And a little bit of white here, as you can see. Yeah, a little bit of white. There we go. And I'm going to expand on this a little bit there. And over there. And over there. It'll still be there. It just wouldn't be as bright as it would right in the front. So, I like that. It's quite nice. Let's get into here. Get a bit of colour going in. That's it. Want to blend it in, just run it across, and that's it. Don't need to do too much. That's it, right now. So, that's done. So now I need to put just plain white now up here. I mean, this is quite dry. As you can see, nothing on my finger there. So, I really need to put just plain white in there now. If you need to change the water, change the water, it will get muddy as you can see. But, you know, if you can manage without doing that, it's up to you. I'm going to take a little bit of just the plain white here now, like this. As you can see, it's very liquidy white, this. So, I'm going to put it in here. There we are. That's it. 
just cover up everything there. Go up a little bit with it as well. There we go. Expand out a little bit here and there. That's it. Nice. Come here as well. Oops. Be careful now. Don't be dropping anything. That's it. Lovely. Over there and over there. There we are. That's about right, I think. That's it. That looks nice. A little bit of duct tape as well. That's it. Yeah, that's rather nice. I like that. And of course, not forgetting the bottom as well. Water here will be. There we go. As I said, you can use a palette knife as well for this. Your choice. And as I said, it's uh, get a little bit of yellow and put some of that in the edges as well. If you think it's too much white, and there as well, we'll go across a bit of that. Yeah, over there needs a bit more. Could be a bit darker on the sides. That's right. Not bad. Right. That's very nice. So far. So, yes, there we go. Just make sure that whatever you do with it, you're happy with it. Right? Go from there. Right, so the next thing to do now is... I can see a little bit of a bubble over there. I don't bubble this other stuff. Get them a bit more, a bit more in the middle. That's it. That's it. Lovely. Oh yeah, looks very nice, huh? Let's stretch a few little bits outwards. Just to make it seem as if it's catching sunlight there. There we are. So there we are. It looks very nice. I think it looks really nice. So next bit now we want to do is we want to decide. Well, first of all, I need to be putting a little bit more in the sky up here. So this up here is not quite the way I want it. So a bit more yellow up here. I want a bit more water if you're not going anywhere. It. Now that makes it look tremendously better. That's it. We want it all to blend. And there you go. Well, that looks a very nice sky. Lots of colours in it. Let's just get a bit more of the yellow in the top here because this bit is annoying me. That's it. Just break it up. You don't like the line there? Break it up. That's it. There we are. So, if you put in more yellow on the top, what do you do? Put more yellow on the bottom. That's it. There we go. And so now, it starts to reflect what's up there. There we are. More yellow. Of course, the further down you go, you go, the less amount of lighter colours there are. That's it. Look at Pete. Yes, it's looking the way I want it to look now. There we are. As you can see. Beautiful colours running through it. A lovely looking scene. Next bit now we need to do is obviously where the horizon line is up here. I've gone down a little bit here, as you can see there. So it's... Not too bad to recover it all, but there we are. A little bit of white, a little bit of yellow together, and then just cover it all. But there we go. And it looks a bit better. Same over here. I see a white spot there. There we are. Get rid of it. Just rub a little bit of this into it. It's gone. Ah. So, happy with that. Now, the next bit that I want to do. 
is you got to decide where the rocks are going to be. So, where are the rocks going to be? So we need black, because this is a silhouette, obviously. We need plenty of black. And either you copy what's on the paint in there, or you make up your own on you. Now, I, I quite like the, the way I did it originally. So, all I need all I need to do here is... Now, if you're unsteady with your hands, always take a brush or anything, and just hold yourself together. It gives you a little bit of hold, so you can just put in what you like. There we are. Little box over there. And a taller one there. So there we are. So we've got two rocks in you now. Like that. That's it. Now the bottoms of these will be flat, but there will be some shadow there as well. But we'll get on to that later. So one is a flat one. No, oh, there's a rigid one over here as well. So that's one that we can crop a little bit like that. That's it. Right. That's it. If it's just on a fourth, it's add a bit. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. One rock coming out. There's a flat one over here somewhere, I know. That's it, he's only just peeking out the ears. There we go. That's it. That's quite nice. Now, as we come in closer, there's some larger rocks. There's quite a large rock here. So we're going to put that in. It's, it's about perspective as well. You've got to make sure you get these big rocks in here and in the front there we go there we are this is looking better already yeah. all this brings perspective all this leads you into the painting into there that's where you need to be and that's it so you turn in a flat canvas into something which you uh, which is 3D and so you're virtually looking straight through the painting which is something which is quite nice and there's a large rock bear as well I think let's have a look yeah add more water you, you find it's you know blacks are easy to use if you do it right there we go and cross for there now well, that'll be enough for me for there now, what I'll do is I'll take it around the corner, because, as I said, this is going to be on a wall without, really, any frame. So the frame will be the sides of it. So I just blend it in and make sure it looks just the same. Put that one out slightly to the right. There we are. I've got to give it something substantial to hold on to. And there you have it. There we are. That's it, one large rock. Now because they're silhouettes from the sky, you don't really need to worry about, well, about too much form of them. If they were in sunlight now, you'd have to make sure you do it right. But on this, no, you don't need to. There we go, all the way across to there like that. And just fill it in. There we go. If you wanted to leave some light reflecting off it, you just do that. There we are. That's it. That's it. There we are. And it's the same with the other one. If you want to put something on there, you just get it into the colours. There we are. Bit of white, bit of orange together. And just touch it. much just gives you a little bit of color there that's if you want to do that yeah. Yeah. it must be too much just a little bit you don't know and then of course we've got to think now what are we going to do here 
So we need to uh, reflect in the water from these. So we need to take a bit of red, a bit of orange and a little bit of black together. Right, can you see the colour coming by there now? Just put that down there. See that? Yeah, bit of red. And we need this colour and we need to take it downwards like this, see? That. Obviously, we needed a bit more watery than that, and it should represent and look very similar to the one above. So I'm going to go out over there with it again, and we are like that. And the same with this side, so you can see it looks like a reflection of the one above. There we go. So they downward strokes the reflection. Let's make sure it looks very similar. That's all you want to look. They're very similar. Now if you're not happy with that, just take some water on it and run the water down through it. That will give you a much better look. So there we are. There's one. Obviously there's one up here as well. We can't always do a, a good go across for this one. There we are. That's that. And this one up here as well. This might be down, might be across. If you're not happy with it going up and down, you just gotta go down with it. There we go. As you can see, looks fine. Same over here with this one, there will be a slight little one here. There will be a slight shadow on every single one of these. Yeah, and a larger shadow down here with this. There we go. And it looks well, so much better. There we are. And of course the same over here as well. There we go. So and of course there's another one here which has got to be done. And to make this look super realistic. Another good little tip I'll give you once we finish this. Done. This one needs to go down a little bit more, I think. I forget that they're always longer in the water than they are above, so you always get a longer shadow. There we are. That looks quite nice. So, how do we finish this off? Well, we take a bit of the orange and a little bit of the yellow together. What we do is we run it across. There we go. And all of a sudden, it looks like a fabulous reflection. That's right. And that's how you do it. Same over here with this one. No. That's not bad. Now that side's a little bit wet, so I won't be able to do too much on there. But some of the other ones here, yeah, you know, we can have a good go. This one probably would be a good one to have a go at. Let's have a look. Yeah, so not too much, just enough to bring it to life. That's all. Quite like that, it's coming nice. As you can 
see it beautifully. Can that beautiful? Yeah, that's all you need. A little bit of colours here and there. And they said, if you're not happy with it, you think, mm, I don't like that colour. Let's go over it. Red, yellow, there we are. One over there, one over there. There we are. And I think that looks quite nice. Very nice indeed. Take a little bit more of the white. And I want to make this more of a little bit blue. There we are. That's it. Very happy with that now, like that. Good. So there we go. And you can see through these. They look great as well. So there they are. Just through the rocks there. That's it. Lovely. Very happy with that. It's come out really well. Don't do too much to it because you can overplay these things sometimes. But there we are. I think that's quite nice. So we've got that so far like that. So what else do we do? Um, there's more rocks and things in the painting, but I don't know if I want to put too many in there. Just a few. Next bit I want to do now is the reeds on the side there. So we need to get some black for that here. Yeah. Put a bit of red in it as well so you can make it look a bit more better. And we need to make it very watery and then just do this. Now if you notice it stays on the brush plenty of it. That's it. There we go. If it starts to peter off, just put some more in, try and make them off. If you can, and sit a couple of different directions as well. They will come from everywhere. There we are. That's quite nice. Want to be maybe a little bit higher as well up here. There we go. I'm just using the tip of the brush on this. So. Yeah, and of course, they'll be going across as well. So. That's what you're trying to do. Now if you want to put a few little reeds in it, it's easy enough to do. You just you just dab at it with that. Up to an edge. Oh yeah. Another one there. That's it. I'm going to put one over here. Like that. And then your background there. Just pick them wherever you feel they should be. You can make them wider, you can make them smaller. Yeah. That's just it. See? I picked up too many, just. There we are, they're in there. All the way through this side. So. That's all we are to it. Brilliant. Nice. So that's roughly nearly done. Now what I tend to do as you know is to put a little ship or something or boat or whatever. So I'm going to put a little boat in this one if I can. It's obviously going to be silhouetted with just a little, little tiny boat out here. Now, I don't want it to be too dark. I do want it to be a little bit more Add more to that one, what can I do? Yeah, so it's a little, little boat out here, like this. Now, as I said before, if you're not sure of whether you're going to be steady or not, use one of these. That's it. There we go. Just make sure it's not too wet so that, you, that it runs. <laughs> what have I said before about runs? 
to take a little bit of paper towel and give it a wipe, that's all. That's better. Right. Come back to the painting now. Bottom of the boat there. Uh, what else do we need? Well, the top of the boat would be probably would be, I should imagine, lighter colour. Usually white, doesn't it? So I'm going to go with the white, and I'm going to go with the top. And just put. There's something in there. Look at Is this? It could be a single boat. It could be any kind of boat, really. I need to put a little bit darker stuff in this side there. Yeah. There we go. All right, there to go there. Oh, something like that. Put a little boat there. We need to put uh, a mast in there as well. So I'm going to come from the top down very, very thinly. I know you can't see it because I'm probably covering it. I tried to make it as straight as possible, which I haven't, but I just made that look a little straight. Reasonable enough. Now, let's have a look. Now, the side of it obviously will be a little bit more darker because it's in the shade. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to this one like that. There we go. Not much to this. I'll have to go with that. And that could be the top of the ship or something. It could be anything. Let's get a bit of darkness on it. There we go. That's more like it. A little cabin up there or something could be anything but what you want it to be is looking pretty good really there we go so am i happy with the mast no what do i do with it well take a bit of this and just dab it off it should come off it's gone so where's my brush again right okay now we need to put this on but we need it to be not runny <laughs> as you can see everybody makes mistakes I haven't got a steady hand so it's very difficult for me these days so there we go to the, as you can see I just shake so I'm afraid it's the best I can do these days. And of course, the, what there would be in there is a little bit of reflection of this. There we go. There we go. And there we are. Sorry if I stopped talking there, concentrating so much then I realised I didn't put one talk in. So I think it looks reasonable enough. Yeah, that's quite nice. We can go with that one. I think I might be able to take a little bit of white and yellow. And just fill this in a little bit better. Just get on my nerves. And then spread it up a bit. It'll look a bit better, as you see. 
There we are. That's better. So, we've got a boat, we've got rocks, we've got a lovely sunset, and that's all we need now is some birds. So we're going to put a few birds in there. A bit of red, a bit of red, a bit of black together. That's it. And we're going to come up here and go right. Where are the birds playing? Should be one over there. One by there. You can't see me do that one, so I'm going to go the other side. Not easy to do. Unless you see it. Just going over and back over. There we are. That's all you're doing. A little bit here and there. Don't have to be too much. I'm going off into the background as well. There we are. If you're not happy with these and you think, oh gosh, they are bright, change it. Add a bit more colour to it. Go over the top of it. Whatever you want to do with it. Just change it. I'm going to take a little bit of this black there because I just want to put a little sort of flag or something on there. Whichever way the flag should be running. Yeah. And go to the left of it. Give it a little bit of a flag going up. That's it. 